Let's get, get prepared. prepared. Get prepared. Shh. Listen, Listen carefully. carefully. Pay attention. attention. Hi, Palette team. Welcome back to my channel. We have Ankara today. We are drafting directly on our fabric. I love it because it has yellow. I love anything yellow because I'm dark. So when I'm wearing yellow, it brightens me up. We are going to cut um, Nifle, a short dress that will have a, or rather a midi dress that will have a Nifle double step. That is two-tiered Nifle. So stay tuned while we do it. Meanwhile, if you like what I'm doing, give me thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and share this to your friends, your families and colleagues. Thank you. To look through, you can see that this is the front. You don't have to draft with the front. You have to draft with the back. So I'm turning it and I'm folding so that the front will be inside. That is the right face, not the wrong face, so that the right face will be inside. So this is the right face now. If I now fold it, it will now go inside. This is the way we do it here. The length of my dress is 35. And I have to measure 35 plus seam allowances or rather plus seam allowance to give me 35 and a half. So this is my 35 and a half. This is the shoulder, the shoulder is at zero. This is the armpit, it is at nine. This is the waistline at 16. And the hip line is at 25 and a half. My client is not a tall person, but not short anyway. So you can see what I'm doing now. It's not a princess that is just a free fitted midi dress. Because the hip is 43, I'm gonna approximate it to 44. Before you can now fold your fabric for cutting, you have to do some little arithmetic so that you are not gonna waste your client's material. So 44, uh, 44 divided by four will give us 11. You measure 11 and add it 2 inches. This is 11. Add it 2 inches, it becomes 13. So that is what I'm using. I'll use 13. Okay, what lining? Okay. If, if it will have lining now, I'll make it 13 and a half. But without lining, it's going to be 13. So I'll now fold this at 13 so that I'm not waste, I won't waste any material, any fabric. The shoulder is 14 divided by 2. Give me 7. Mark at 7 here. Come down to the armpit line, mark my seven, join the lines, and make your armpit curve. The bust is 42. 42 divided by 4 will give you 10 and a half, plus 2 inches, it will now give you 12 and a half. So this is my measurement. Then the waist is 41. We are doing it the same thing. 41. Let's just approximate it to 12 and a half so that we move on quickly because the, the difference between here and here is insignificant and we are not going to that. It is a free dress. Therefore, no need to do the adjustment. So we are not cutting out anything here because it's on the dots, but we are going to make a small pencil here by removing one and a half. If not, it won't be nice. So we have 13. And I remove one and a half from it. You join it like this. Like this. This is our pattern. It's a free pattern though. So the neck is going to be 4 inches by 4 inches. But let me do it 4 and a half so it won't be choking. So four inches by four and a half. Then you slant the shoulder and cut it out. We are done. This is our pattern. So let's draft the back and then the flip. So we used 13 for the back. We are also using 13 here. The difference is that we are going to add zipper allowance of one inch which will now make it 14. So from here, I will have to get my 14 and fold it down to this 14. This is our working space. So we measure again. 
the length, this is at zero, the armpit at nine, the waist at 16, the hip at 25 and a half, the length at 35 and a half. Then the shoulder is 14, which is a uh, seven divided by two give us seven <coughs> plus one inch for zipper allowance, it will now be eight. So I mark eight, come down on the armpit line, <coughs> excuse me, mark eight also, join it and get my armhole curve. So, because we want to kind of dart the bar to have some fine details like that to it, we are making use of 14, it should be 13, but because of zipper allowance, it's now 14. So we are making use of 14 throughout. The other excess allowance will be for the dart. So, I'll mark 14 here, mark 14 here, mark 14 here. Then here I removed one and a half. That is what I'm doing also. This is 14 and I remove one and a half. So it will come down to pencil a bit. To pencil a bit. So this is a free pattern. And the shoulder here is, sorry, not the shoulder. The neck here is four plus one inch for zipper allowance is now five. Then I'll have to make it to be higher because this is back, I'm using two inches. Then I curve it in and my neck is ready. Slant here, don't forget to do that. So we are ready to cut the back pattern. Done. We are done. Let's draft the 360 degree flip, which will now make the two step flip and complete the length and the pattern drafting okay trying to draft the flare i told you it is 360 that is 180 for the front and 180 for the back so i folded into four for the 360 if you want to learn more you have to go down to my description box yes i'll put the link in the description box so you can go there and pick this 360 flare and see how I cut it in detail, it's, it, it's, it's a full tutorial. So now, this is our flay. We want to make flay for the down. Uh, first of all, let me mark on six and check if it will be enough for what I want to get. This is six inches, mark it round. What I want to get is 11 and a half. So I have to measure along the second frames and see Sorry, it's not 11 and a half. Yes, it's 11 and a half. Yeah. So, and see if it is up to 11 and a half. This is 10. That means it won't be enough. But you know, flay, when you cut it now and spread it, it will, it will tend to expand. So let me just add a little space, little inches like 0.5. This will even go a long way. It may give us 11 and a half. So let's see what it gives. Okay, this is 10 3 quarter, but I'm using it because once I cut this, I'll measure it again and you see that it is up to 11 and a half. What I need is 12 inches or rather uh, plus allowances, it will give me 13. I mark 13 here. When I come here, I mark 12 because I want it to make a sort of high low. And when I come here, I'll have to mark 11. So this is what I will get. So let's see the measurements. You can see it almost. We have here 11 one quarter. So it is enough. So let's draft the second flay. Okay, so here will be the same thing. And I will now measure out the length. So let me mark using this as a pattern. I will now measure the length I want, which is seven here. Seven. Seven.
can see our two step. And this is here. Yeah. And we now fix the borders here. This is how you fix it. I'm doing this demonstration because of uh, learners in our midst. We now fix it here. And it will give you two step knee flip. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for staying till the end of the video.